Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys another Ask C segment and I am taking questions again from Instagram. And the first question is from Isa Diozo. She asked me, what is your favorite Korean makeup? So I've been super obsessed with using the BLK tint the past couple of weeks. And hindi ko pa review yung buong line. Wala pa ako review at all. Pero look at this one. One fourth na lang siya. Super duper love ko siya. And I always hated tints until I realized how much I love using them. Lalo na kapag nasa beach, para very natural lang yung tint ng lips mo. And it lasts all day talaga, ng bonggang bonga. So this is from the latest collection of BLK Cosmetics, yung K-Beauty line, which was launched at the Dessert Museum a couple of weeks back. So yun, one-fourth na lang siya, and I super love it. This is in the shade of pink, pero ang ganda, ang ganda sa lips talaga. So this is my current favorite Korean makeup product. The next question is from Kite Lorig. What is your dream destination and why would you like to visit that place? I actually have a lot of places that I want to visit and for this year, my main goal is to be able to visit majority of the Asian countries. And hopefully towards the end of the year, siguro US area naman. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed but I really would like to visit the other places pa in Asia and of course in the Philippines. Ang dami nating hindi pa napupuntahang mga magagandang lugar sa ating sariling bansa. Kaya that's like my main goal talaga to be able to go to as many places as I can while I'm young. Pauline Gatchalian asked me, what are your top three travel essentials? Number one is a Wi-Fi device. I cannot and will not be able to live without Wi-Fi unless there's free Wi-Fi. Pero ang hirap kasi kapag nasa ibang bansa ka, kailangan talaga meron kang sariling reliable internet connection for you to be able to navigate through the city that you're in and it just really helps a lot with everything. Kailangan talaga may internet connection tayo. Top one ko yun. The second would be my gadgets. Medyo cheating yun. Pero kailangan ko ng gadgets ko like phones, my cameras, all the other um, extra batteries and power banks. Kailangan ng power banks, girl. Ako, when I travel, I think I bring with me about five power banks. Kasi you'll never know when you'll run out of battery and kailangan mo mag-charge ng sang katutak na gadgets, ba? And then the third one would be either my passport, pero parang given na yun, ba? Or my medicine bag. I always bring with me all types of medicine when I travel. Kasi you'll never know kung kailan ka magkakasakit, magkaka-LBM, you'll never know. Kaya kailangan talaga lahat ng medicine nandun. And I also bring with me my, hindi siya EpiPen eh, yung injection. So if ever lang matrigger yung allergy ko sa hipon or sa something, meron akong ganun. Kasi medyo delikado, lalo na if you're in a foreign country, and then maging ganun ka, girl, it's so scary, di ba? Next one, we have something from Catalea Ibarra. How do you handle questions from people asking you when you are gonna get married? I'm actually, I think I'm quite young. I'm 26. I'm turning 27 na pala next month. And I don't really think that marriage is one of my top priorities right now. Um, I am young and I have so many things I still want to do in life. It's something that's not gonna happen to me anytime soon. So when people ask me, I don't really mind. The guy in wheelchair asked me, what lesson or lessons did you learn from your past relationships? I think the greatest thing that I've learned is that if you didn't start out with a solid foundation, then most likely the relationship will not last. Also, if you have different values, talagang mahirap talaga yun. Chain Incorporado asked me, what do you use on your hair to make it healthy? Because you've been changing your hair color, but it's cute. So I actually just use my Pantene 3-Minute Miracle. That's not sponsored, but I really use that conditioner every time I get my hair colored. Because it really helps my hair stay soft and tangle-free talaga. And talaga hindi na mama yung buho ko whenever I use the Pantene 3-Minute Miracle. As in, kailangan mo siyang i-leave on for 3 minutes kasi doon talaga nagpe-penetrate talaga sa, um, pinipenetrate niya yung mga strands ng hair mo and then may, basta may scientific chuba-chuba yun. So, I can't remember yung mga terms. Pero, that's what it does to your hair. So, if ever you're like me and you love coloring your hair or kahit hindi kayo mag-color, kahit sun damage, girl, it will make a difference. Ayla Mendero, what's your next travel destination? 
I really want to go away for my birthday, and that's gonna be uh, next month. Pero parang gusto ko bago pumasok yun June. Hindi ko lang sure kasi baka maulan na or whatever, di ba? So I am targeting another Asian country. I'm not really sure yet, pero siguro aayusin ko muna, and then I'll let you guys know kung saan. The next question is from Trish Chadrash. Hi, Missy. What is your priority at this moment? Focus on myself. I know I said this exact same line in one of my Ask Say segments and sobra naging controversial because of what happened after that Ask Say. And I just really want to say to you guys that I'm just human. And no matter how inspiring my other words could be, I made poor choices in life. And yeah, maybe this time talaga natauhan na ako ng bongga bongga. So just really to focus on myself. And I am creating a small project actually. Ito yung project na hindi ko natuloy from the last time. Nakakainis diba? Nakakaloka. Para ang sarap batu ko ng sarili mo. Pero okay na, madami na nakabatok sa akin, girl. Um, yeah, it's actually a small project in which I am gonna do something I've never done. One thing lang every single day, and I'm going to document that, and it's gonna be like, wala lang para ang saya, alam mo yon. Because life is too short, and there are so many things I haven't done, and I just really want to do as many things I, as I can. Yeah, so I just really hope you guys understand that I'm only human and I'm not perfect. I also make poor choices in life, talaga. So yun talaga ang buhay. It's life. R M D Questa. Tiin mo ba yung the one? Okay, this question, alam mo, I also wonder, kasi people, di ba may mga articles ako nababasa or may mga tao nagsasabi sa akin na if you find someone or if you meet someone, you're just gonna, you're just gonna know daw if he or she is the one. And obviously, my answer to that would be no. Um, I've actually never felt, felt whatever it is that you're supposed to feel if you find or meet the one. So, it's also a mystery to me. So, if ever may mga tao dyan na naka-feel na talaga nung na-meet mo yung asawa mo na, oh, the one, eto na yun, eto na yun. Let us know in the comments kung anong feeling yun. Kasi, we don't know. We don't really know. The next question is from Angelique Lanuza. If you'd be given the chance to meet your dad again and ask him one question, what would it be? I actually don't have anything to ask or I don't have any questions for Papa. And... May share lang ako. Um, when he died, I kept praying na sabi ko, sana makita ko siya sa dream ko. And sobrang parang na-relieve talaga ako ng bongga kasi ang dream ko sa kanya, he was dancing. As in, pawis na pawis na siya sa sobrang sayaw niya. And he was dancing to Rosanna, Rosa. Anong kato yan? Yung Ro Rosanna. As in, play ng play yun sa dream ko. Anyway, he was just dancing. And he was asking me to dance. Tapos na tara sa yun dahil something like that. I don't know if that's a sign that he's doing okay. And also my other sisters, um, na paningin pa din si Papa. And lahat ng dreams niyan parang he's doing fine. When I woke up from that dream, talaga pinlay ko ulit yung music, yung yung kantang yun, yung Rosanna. And I was just smiling because I don't know. It it just felt really good to see him like that. Na parang tuwang tuwas ka kasi yao. That's what he loved the most when he was alive. Um, kumakanta, karaoke, sumasayaw, ganyan. This one is from Arlene Vicente. Did you ever regret your choices in life? Okay. Regret, regret, regret. Sabi nila, it's useless daw to regret. Kasi, when you look back, and iba yung ginawa mo nung time na yun, you wouldn't be the person you are today. It actually makes sense, di ba? So, Whatever happened, kahit masama or mabute or sobrang sama, I think it's better to just accept whatever happened, kahit sobrang sama, kasi you learned something from it. Yun naman talaga yung lesson sa buhay, eh. kahit may masamang nangyayari sa you, yung aral na nakukuha mo sa pangyayaring yun, yun, yun talaga yung essence, I think, ng mga masasamang nangyayari sa buhay. And tao ko lang naman, you, you make poor choices, you make bad decisions, so. Um, ang goal lang talaga dyan is for you to learn something from it and then in the future, hindi ka na magkakamali. Or pwede ka pa rin magkamali, pero gets mo. Yeah. Karen Leyesa asked me, wine recommendations please for Friday nights. Wifey and I super love bread and butter. Yun yung brand ng wine. Ito yung iniinom namin when we first met. 
Yeah, and yun namin yun. When we first met sa Big Bad Wolf, and then ever since, when we go back to Big Bad Wolf, lagi namin in order bread and butter. But, um, ako preference with like red wine. I love Pinot Noir. I love Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Merlot. Ayun, yung mga iniinom ko. And the brand that I drink is Trapiche. Trapiche. Ayun, nabibili yun sa um, SM. Yung mga, yung wine section nila doon. So, yun. I, I prefer red wine. This question is from Iron Lady Marge. So I'm so sorry, Marge. Her fiance passed away last month and she is asking me how how do you manage to get through the pain of losing someone you love? And what are the things I need to do in order to get back again in life? This is a question that I don't really think that I am fit to answer because I lost my dad. It's super painful. In your case, you lost your fiance. Hindi ko may imagine yung pain like um, the death of a family member is one of the most painful things in the world. As in, sobrang painful. Up until now, we are all still grieving. Pero tama yung sinasabi nila na it gets better with time. Pero the pain doesn't really go away. Alam mo yun? Kasi nawalan ka eh. Talagang nawalan ka. And I don't really know if I am fit to answer this question. Kasi pati naman ako. Alam mo yun? I'm not okay all the time. Diba? Yun. I didn't know how to answer the question, but prayers really help. And just having a support system. Kailangan meron kang support system. Next one is from Mitz David. Ano yung masasabi nyo na yung ibang vloggers ngayon nakakahakot agad ng mga subbies nila? And kayo po, since 2010 pa po kayo naging YouTuber. Alam mo, yung happiness ko and yung contentment ko sa buhay do not solely rely on the number of subscribers on my channel. I think that's the answer I can give. Because, wala. I don't really care. Life is not a race, and whatever I'm going through right now is for me. Whatever they're going through is for them, and it's just human nature to keep comparing and comparing. And if you do that to yourself, mababalyo ka lang. The next question is from Lu Reng. Hi, Atisay. Na pansin ko lang na parang naging iba na po kayo at ang dating na mga vlogs niyo. Na pansin yun rin po ba sa sarili niyo po? Yes, actually yes. The past, the past months, I've tried a lot of things that aren't me. I thought at the beginning, different is good. Um, I mean, I learned a lot, naman. Like, and dami ko na try na bagong stuff na hindi ko nagagawa before. I also met and hung out with a lot of new people. Um, bagong environment talaga, and sobrang hindi ako. Which is why I think na I was greatly influenced talaga. And I'm not saying that I regret it because I learned a lot from those experiences talaga. And yeah, napansin ko sa sarili ko yun. Kasi I started doing things that are not really me. Na hindi aligned sa values ko as a person. Kapag talaga hindi ikaw yung ginagawa mo, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Kay Ligsay is asking me about a meet and greet. So, I think yung pinaka meet and greet na magaganap ng malapit na is YouTube Fan Fest. Um, I'll be at the festival, at the pre-show. We're gonna be giving away makeup. So, it's gonna be a trivia Q&A type of segment. So, it's gonna be only 15 minutes. So, if ever you got tickets for YouTube Fan Fest, I hope to see you there. Yun ang pinaka fun. The next one is from Bads07. Why am I the one hurting when you feel like crying? And why am I feeling your pain when you pretend you're okay? Oh, that's so sweet. I really want to say thank you to everyone who's been messaging me the past couple of days. Um, something really personal happened to me. I'm not even sure if I'm ready to talk about it because I'm just not ready to talk about it, I think. And I just really want to say thank you because you guys, I think, I feel it. I'm bonga talaga. I don't know why. But I feel that you and I, you guys have a connection with me, and I'm just feeling very thankful to have a great support system. Na hindi lang family ko, pati online community. Like I have a solid support system, and I'm so thankful for that. As in, sobrang thankful talaga, kasi grab the past days, girl. As in, my gosh, I I can't. Sobrang hindi ko kinaya ng bonga bonga, and yeah, but that's life. And for everyone asking, I think majority of the questions in this post, yun tanong na yun, yun tinatanong sa akin. So, what happened daw? What happened? Um, like I said earlier, I think that if two people 
start off a relationship with a shaky foundation, it's gonna be a problem talaga. Kapag magkaiba kayo ng values sa buhay, it's gonna be a problem. I'm all about trying to understand where the other person is coming from and what is causing his actions or something like that. But it really got to a point that I couldn't handle it anymore because my self-esteem was just super duper crushed. It got to a point where I started doubting myself and questioning myself. And isang araw, I think I looked in the mirror and told myself na parang what happened to you. Parang na suck yung life out of me. Na wala yung personality ko, na wala yung self-esteem ko. And then I realized ko sa pinakahole that I am not the problem. I shouldn't be allowing someone to continuously crush my self-esteem until wala nang matira sa akin. I shouldn't be taking this lightly. I shouldn't be just allowing stuff to happen. But like I said earlier, again, no regrets. And whatever happened talaga, I learned a lot from it. I finally learned my lesson. And this is just the right time to do things right. So here is to making better decisions in the future. And hopefully you guys learned something from me and from this Ask Say segment. So I'll, I'll reserve all the other questions for another session because it's kind of long. And that ends the vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!